Hi everybody, it's all of you know that we are continuing on playlist of Google Cloud Associate Engineering exam. So guys, before this, we have already published 11 videos and one practice session. So I request all of you to watch those videos and practice the questions which we have covered in practice test. So guys, in upcoming videos also, we are going to publish few practice tests and it is going to help in your Google Cloud exam. So guys, in this video, we will discuss the topic first and today's topic is IAM policy. So guys, this topic is very important because 4 to 5 questions they are going to ask on IAM policy alone. So if you are covering IAM policy in deep, then this video is going to give you at least 4 to 5 marks in your exam. So guys, first we will discuss the topic. After that, we will solve the questions based on those topics. And at the end of this playlist, we are going to do one practical which will cover all the concepts. So guys, before we move ahead, please like this video and subscribe to the channel for getting more updates regarding this. So guys, first let me explain you about IEM policy. Let's say in Google Cloud, you have four files, okay? For example, let's say you have four files and you want to give two people viewer access. I mean you want two people to only view this file you want to give access to one people who can delete this file okay and you can give access to one people who can upload this file so different accesses you can manage through this IAM policy so I hope IAM policy is clear now let's discuss about different roles in IAM policy so the first role is cloud storage roles so inside cloud storage, we have two types of resources. The first one is bucket and inside the bucket, we upload our files, which we call as objects. So guys, let's say you are a storage admin. So in that case, you can manage both bucket and objects. Okay. You can manage, create, delete both bucket and objects. I mean files with the help of a storage admin access. Now let's say you have a storage object admin access. So in that case, you can only manage, add, delete files inside the bucket. You cannot be able to delete, manage or create buckets, but you will be able to access the objects in your bucket. I mean, you can delete, add and upload your files. Now, let's say you have access of a storage object creator. So in that case, you can only create and upload files. This access only you will be having. Now let's say you have the access of a storage object viewer. In that case, you have the only access to view the files. You will not be able to create, upload, delete files and buckets, but you will only be able to see the files. Okay. So guys, there is concept of principle of least access. So what is meant by this? So guys, let's say you have one member in your team who has recently joined the team and you want that member to only view the files. So in that case, you should give him the least access through which he will be able to do his work. Let's say if you are giving him the access of a storage admin, then in that case also, he will be able to view the file. But other than view access of the files, he also have the access of creation and deletion of objects and buckets. So it will be very harmful for an organization. Now let's move to the next role that is app engine role. So inside app engine role, we have app engine viewer role. So what you can do in app engine viewer role is that you can read all the applications and services. And in app engine code viewer, what you can do, you can view the code, can go to different versions and read code on each versions. And in app engine admin mode, you can access to all the applications and service instances. So please understand the difference between app engine viewer and app engine code viewer. So app engine code viewer can view the code, can go to different versions and read code on each versions. But app engine viewer can only read all the configurations associated with different applications, service instances. But app engine admin along with reading all the configurations of application service instances, app engine admin can also delete the configurations for different applications and services instances. So I hope the concept of app engine role is clear to all of you. Our next role is compute engine roles. So inside this you have compute engine admin role. In this you can have 
complete control of instances images load balancer networks and firewalls and next is compute instance admin so in that case you can create modify and delete virtual machine instances and disk and in compute storage admin you have complete access to disk images and snapshot so please understand the difference between compute engine admin and compute instance admin so here in compute engine admin you have the complete control of different instances load balancer networks firewalls everything but in compute instance admin you can only have access with a specific instance you can create that instance you can modify that instance you can delete that instance okay you can create modify or delete different disk associated with that instance only our last role is google kubernetes engine im role so guys here there are two things the first one is clusters and the second one is kubernetes api objects so guys what is meant by kubernetes api objects so basically these are pods or deployments okay and inside each cluster we have different pods in which our instance of our application runs okay so guys let's say you have the access of kubernetes engine admin so in that case you can create update delete both deployment and pods okay i mean here you have the access to both clusters and kubernetes api object if you have the access of kubernetes engine admin then in that case you have complete control over clusters as well as pods but if you have the access of kubernetes engine cluster admin then in that case you have complete access to clusters but do not have access to kubernetes api objects and pods okay now the next one is kubernetes engine developer so if you have the access of kubernetes engine developer in that case you can do anything with kubernetes api objects like pods but can read only cluster information so if you have the access of kubernetes engine cluster admin in that case you have complete control over the cluster but you do not have control over kubernetes api objects and pods if you have the access of kubernetes engine developer in that case you have complete control over pods but you do not have control over cluster but you can read data from the cluster i mean you have the access of cluster information so hi guys we have discussed each and every roles which can come under im policy so guys they are going to ask straight away four to five questions on this topic so i request all of you to please go through these roles in detail there is nothing practical in this role only theoretical part is there so please go through these roles one by one in detail also guys we have discussed all the topic that is important from exam point of view only one topic is left that is logging mechanism in gcp so it is stack driver logging so that i will going to cover in upcoming videos and guys after this what we will do is we will start doing lot of practice sessions okay we will do lot of practice sessions and in those sessions we will cover lot of questions and not only questions but with the help of those questions we will be able to understand different kind of concepts which we have studied till now